Hello and welcome to part 2 of my snowman tutorial. Now this is going to be the finished product at the end of this tutorial, which will be about 7 minutes. Um, in the last tutorial, we covered the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the hat and the body. And in this tutorial, I'm going to cover the arms, the buttons, and the background. Hope you enjoy. Now we're just going to add some buttons and some arms, and then we should be good. So I'm actually going to copy the eyes for the buttons. Um, I'm going to go into it and select the second eye and just delete it. Wait, we just have the one. Now yet again, it's actually inside the snowman, so we're just going to pull this out. I'll rotate it as well so it looks like it's been pushed into him. Now we're going to copy this button down a little bit. I want to have probably three buttons. And go now. There are your three buttons there. Make sure they're all visible. And go, that's pretty good. We'll just move them over a bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we just need to add the arms. So we're going to go add mesh cylinder and OK. Now yet again this is facing the wrong way. I'm going to rotate on the Y axis this time, 90 degrees. Um, so I, this time it was the Y axis because the Y axis is this green dot here. Um, look here you can see that the Y axis is there. Um, so I wanted it moved on the Y axis because that's the axis that would make it be facing the right way. So I'm going to scale it down I'm going to make it about the width of a branch, which is about probably that big. And you want to put that into your stick man. I'm going to select the one face and extrude out of it. And from here, I'm going to extrude out and then extrude out again just to make it look like a the twig that branches off now I'm going to duplicate this again and I'm going to rotate it but this time I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis so rotate Z and this time it's going to be 180 degrees because I want it to be facing the opposite way and just drag that in so there's just snowman there I think we probably don't need this bottom sphere here, so we'll just delete that. Okay, that looks a little better. Okay, now to add some colour. So we want these buttons to be black. We want the eyes to be black as well. Along with the top hat. Um, these little rocks will make them brown. Them to a brown color there. The carrot, or the nose, which is a carrot, is going to be orange. Just look for orange there. Okay, the actual snowman is going to be white. And the twigs, the arms, I'm just going to make them brown as well. move this top hat down a little bit so it will fit on his head properly and there's your snowman now you might just want to add something underneath him so just add a plane we'll scale that out bring it up so that he's actually on it now to make it a little more realistic um, we'll grab these bottom vertices here We'll scale them on the z-axis and press 0. Um, that'll just make the bottom of him flat. And that will allow for this plane to sit on him there. Okay. So now we'll just add some grass onto this plane. Um, I've done this before in my how to make grass tutorial. I'll just do this very quickly. 
particle system. So it's a five thousand. We'll just leave that to white because there would have been snow in. Now you want to set up the camera to be looking at him. Right about there. There we go. So you want to make sure that he's within um, this outer square here, which is what all what the camera can see. Want to make sure that you have good lighting as well. I'm just going to turn ray shadow off, which um, stops there from being shadows. And put two out there. We'll just render this out. And there's your snowman there. Um, we'll just go into this here and click emitter. That'll let us see that plane underneath him. And there's your snowman. Um, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. Um, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Snowman.